the first thing that we need to do is install MongoDB. So let's do that. Let's open our browser and type in mongodb.org. This is the official website for the tool. And as you can see, it has a lot of different selling points, but we already know we should use it. So let's just go to the documentation section as you see right in the navigation. I'm going to click on it and here you will see many different topics. I'm going to choose the one that's over my cursor, the installation notes. There are many things that you can read up later on. For now, I'm just going to click on this section just so you can see that there are many ways of installing MongoDB depending on the Linux distribution that you're using. So that's just informative. You now have instructions to install Mongo on Linux and also on Windows, you can click on that. Since I'm using OS X, I'm going to click on the respective link. There are some ways of installing Mongo in our OX10 system. I'm going to choose the homebrew one as you can see. It's available, so I'm going to use it. Let's circle further down and you can see that all we need to do is type in brew update and also brew install MongoDB. That's pretty great. This is very simple to achieve, so let's do that. So this is my terminal and I'm going to type in brew update and this is going to fetch all of the updated formulae for Homebrew. That way I get a clean up-to-date repository. There you go. And now I can just type in brew install MongoDB. And that's all there is to it. Let's type enter and the MongoDB bottle will be downloaded. So that's all of the source code and it will be built as well. This is going to take some time, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, so there you go. You can see that MongoDB is installed, but it's not exactly being run already. You can see that we have some instructions on top so that we can launch MongoDB at login. So when you boot up your computer, then MongoDB should be run right away. You would just have to use this command here to create a shortcut in your system in order to boot it up automatically. Now, in order to use MongoDB right away, we'll need to use this command. Or if you want to just run MongoDB right away, you can either use this command on top or this one on the bottom. I personally prefer the bottom one because we just run MongoDB without any extra stuff. As you can see, this is a OS X specific instruction. This is a more generic one. It works both on OS X and Linux. I'm not really sure about Windows because I haven't tried it really but I'm pretty sure that the documentation contains the necessary instructions to run MongoDB right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that command and paste it right in the terminal prompt. So let me just clear the screen and MongoDB will be run once I press enter. You can see that the cursor is hanging. Most likely the daemon is running. So what I'm going to do here is open a new tab and hopefully I can type in the Mongo command, which will connect to our MongoDB server. There you go. Awesome. If anything were to happen, for example, if I shut it down, let me just type in control C and then turn it off. I'm going to restart the Mongo command again. And unfortunately you can see that it doesn't connect. So it failed to connect because we haven't initialized the MongoDB server. I'm going to do that again. You can see that it is hanging and now I can go ahead and connect to it once more. Press enter and you will see that it has connected. From here we'll be able to manipulate documents. We'll do that in the next lesson. That's really all there is to it in regards to installing MongoDB.